Total Energies announces land review in controversial Africa projects Thursday, January 4, 2024. The East African Crude Oil Pipeline, EACOP, is a 1,443 km pipeline that once completed will run through 10 districts in Uganda, stretching from Hoima in Uganda to the Indian Ocean at the Tanga Port, west of Tanzania. Photo, file. What you need to know. Four environmental groups have filed a criminal complaint on climate grounds against Total Energies in France. French energy giant Total Energies said Thursday it had launched a review of its land acquisition practices for controversial $10 billion projects in Uganda and Tanzania slammed by environmentalists. Total Energies is pushing ahead with its Tailenga drilling project in Uganda and the 1,443-kilometer, 897-mile, East African Crude Oil Pipeline, EACOP, to transport it to the coast in Tanzania in the face of opposition from activists and environmentalists. This mission will evaluate the land acquisition procedures implemented, the conditions for consultation, compensation and relocation of the populations concerned, and the grievance handling mechanism, the statement said, adding that a report would be submitted by April. Related. Tailenga targets oil under the Murchison Falls Nature Reserve in western Uganda with a planned 419 wells, triggering fears for the region's fragile ecosystem among the people who live there and environmentalists. Drilling began in mid-2023 and production is slated for 2025. Total Energies, which is working with Chinese oil company Sinook on the project, says its 6,400 hectare acquisition plan affects 19,140 households and communities owning or using plots of land and includes the relocation of 775 primary residences. To date, 98% of the households concerned have signed compensation agreements, 97% have received their compensation, and 98% of households to be relocated have taken possession of their new homes, the company added. Resistance to the project has rallied opponents of fossil fuel development as well as conservationists and those fearing the effect on local populations. Human Rights Watch called in July for the plans to be halted, saying in a report that it had already devastated thousands of people's livelihoods in Uganda. The oilfield would ultimately displace over 100,000 people, it charged. Legal battles. Four environmental groups, Darwin Climax Coalitions, Sea Shepherd France, Wild Legal and Stop EACOP Stop Total in Uganda, filed a criminal complaint in France in September accusing Total Energies of ecocide. A first case filed in 2019 was thrown out last year by a Paris court, while Total Energy says the Tanzania-based East African Court of Justice has also rejected a complaint. Other aid groups and 26 individual Ugandans filed a further French civil case in June calling for reparations. Total Energy said Thursday it had named Benin's former Prime Minister Lionel Zinsu to lead the land acquisition assessment, calling him a recognized expert in African economic development. Zinsu has worked with Total Energies in the past through his consulting company. The French branch of Friends of the Earth, which is also participating in the legal battle against the projects, expressed skepticism about the review. They are trying to get names which can help whitewash their image, but you've got to look beyond the names to concrete things like their expertise and what methodology is used, said Juliette Renault, who heads up the group's campaigns against multinationals. A Total Energy spokesman said the review wasn't a public relations exercise. We're doing this for the people concerned, not for our image, he said. Total Energy's CEO Patrick Puyan acknowledged last year that company hadn't done as well as it could have concerning the relocations. The subject of relocations should have been handled earlier, he said in an interview with French Business Magazine.